Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. And if you're new to the channel, I like to extend a warm welcome. Throwback Thursday, y'all. Back at the park, it's noisy as usual. <laughs> noisy as usual out here at the park. And I brought out the MJX X400. And so I just felt like flying this one next because I was flying all the little baby clones of this. <laughs> so it's time to see what the originator is like. Show you guys how this thing flies. And this thing is pretty old. <laughs> this is still the very first one that I ever purchased. Never bought another one. It's still ticking. I've crashed it, beat it up. It's been through a bunch of night flights and all. And this thing is just an awesome flyer. One thing I can say about this quad is that it's a little flat and so this thing catches a lot of turbulence when flying in winds uh, but it's not a big problem just noticeable you can see the thing moving up and down whenever it's windy or whatnot so let's just get this guy up in the air so you guys can check it out it's deviated MJX protocol and I do have a long battery in here but it's a JST connection on it Here's a geared motor setup. MGX protocol gives it very deep pitch and deviation. Check it out. <laughs> Almost vertical. One of my quads I like to fly around trees. Oh, we can't see it. <laughs> Let's look at the flip. Now the flips are very controlled, so can't get away with any multiple flips or anything like that. It's kind of flat for uh, manual flips. Pretty easy to fly it. Oh! <laughs> and my depth perception is bad. <laughs> On that one, at least, I smack right into the tree. Look at squirrels are up there throwing uh, acorns or something down at me. And sheesh, I hit it so hard it turned off. So let me see if I can get it back up. Got to be perfectly still. Oh. It's not going for it. Let me try it again. Let me make sure nothing's stuck. Okay, everything's loose. Off and on. Let's try it again. Got to try to be perfectly still. Okay, we're back in the air with it. <laughs> Not the fastest flyer, but it's a good one though. Oh! <laughs> and I got caught up on this little scraggle we got on the ground here. Two crashes in one video. Let's look at the funnel. 
<laughs> Almost vertical pitch. I tried to do a backwards flip and it didn't do anything. I don't know if it's flashing or not. I can't see it flashing. Do a dive. <laughs> and I dove too deep. Dove right into the ground. And it flipped over on me. Let's see if we can get up in the air. Again, without tapping the rebind. Not the fastest, but it can build up some speed though. Especially when diving. Going against the wind right here. Wind picked up. Oh. I crashed like four times in this video, y'all. Let's just get this guy in here again. <laughs> One had it going fast here for a second. Headed right towards that tree. Yeah. I think the battery might be gone. Cause I was at full throttle just now. For some reason it's not letting me do any flips, let me check. Oh, there we go, we got to flip off. <laughs> oh, wind had me diving down fast. <laughs> and I'm at full throttle here, guys. I think I might have to limit the pitch on this thing. Set a separate uh, model number for it. And just limit the pitch, limit the elevator. The aileron is pretty deep too, but I think I like the aileron deep like that. If the motors were a little more powerful, I think this deep pitch would be better for it. Maybe I'll just upgrade the motors on it. <laughs> this thing dives down fast.
Is this getting real weak? It's flashing now. Bring it down. MJX X400. Awesome fly from back in the day for Throwback Thursday. Thanks for watching.